getting dirty money. What is going on everybody? You see already see what this video is going to be about. We're going to jump right into this one. So the bank stress test has happened right behind me or right behind all this. You can see that I do have Goldman Sachs. I have Bank of America, JP Chase Morgan and or Morgan Stanley right here. All four of them. They are all currently down a little bit after hours, um, but that is kind of with to be expected with after this stress test so basically what i'm just going to go over recap right here you guys can actually read this already um basically you guys already are reading this no financial crisis that is a very very good thing um when it comes down to these banks so what they were testing for is a v or a u or a double dip w um and what do i mean by that is when in 2008 they had a v basically the market fell tremendously um, what I'm going to show you here is, or not here, but this is basically our V that happened this year. You guys see it just tremendously dropped, and now we're on our way back up. Now, if that does happen, they kind of expected something like that to happen. They just didn't want the double dip W to happen, really. Um, hey guys, thank you for watching this video. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and subscribe. I'm always I'm putting out at least one video a week, giving you guys absolutely free content that's going to help you guys, whether it's long term, short term, just in finance and, and everything like that. So that being said, let's jump back to the video. Banks are still able to lend now as well. That is another part of the stress test that basically showing that they have made enough money over the past since the last financial crisis that they are able to keep lending money, which is good. That's a big part of the no financial crisis part, meaning you know that they, they have been making money and they are going to be able to keep lending money. That's a huge, huge part of this and going to be a huge key to success with that. Basically, they have enough money to lend and are fine um so there are going to be no buybacks here in these stocks which is a huge huge thing um basically you know they're not going to be able to prop up their stocks as much which i got a feeling meaning that they are going to fall a little bit you can see that here this is on the daily chart so you can't see the after hours charts here that there are going to be some pullbacks more than likely tomorrow there will be more than likely possibly a red day going into friday um, or going into the weekend. So that is one thing to definitely be looking at. On um, There is another thing right here, cap on dividends being able to be paid out by banks. Now basically what that's just going to do is there will be some sort of formula that they will create in order to tell what banks or tell the banks what kind of dividend they can pay out to investors. Um, that is just that's just basically going to be a drawback for investors. Um, that meaning some people may, you know, not be basically may not be buying as many bank stocks because the dividend may the dividend more than likely is going to be lower than that which is okay i mean again they're not going to be able to prop up that stock near as much with the buybacks um the dividend is more than likely going to be a little bit smaller so there are going to be some drawbacks for sure on these stocks um that is the main points of these now there was some stimulus talked about with trump here recently in a couple of interviews um basically they the stock market is a big point for Trump because, again, ever since Trump has been the presidency, the market has been has grown tremendously. Even though we have taken this dip during his presidency, as we remember before the whole health and COVID pandemic, we were on a very, very high trend. Um, and you can see this in here. You know, we were in the 250s on Goldman Sachs. Morgan Stanley was up here. Again, all of the above. But... That is the recap here. That is something that you need to be paying attention to tomorrow because um, those are going to be big things. With that being said, guys, I thank you guys all for watching the video. Other than that, guys, I will see you guys in tomorrow's video.